how did I end up in the Northeast? A bit of a journey. So I actually studied in Poland. So I'm an international medical graduate and I did my foundations in Aberdeen in Scotland. And then for core medical training, I got placed in the Northeast and then decided to pursue this training. One of the reasons I chose clinical pharmacology and therapeutics when I was thinking about uh, higher specialty training was because of the variety of things we get to experience. I start my morning off usually with a toxicology post-take ward round on our admissions unit. Sometimes I can go to the ward and look after internal medical patients. I might be attending our hypertension clinic or I might be helping take calls with the National Poisons Information Service. And I also spend some time on the clinical research unit where we discuss and help uh, run trials. What inspired me to choose clinical pharmacology and therapeutics as a specialty was the the variety it offered. I read the job spec and it listed a few key things for me. So it listed the fact that you have to be an excellent clinician and physician. It listed the fact that we're involved in research and clinical trials, in education, in poisons if we so choose through the National Poisons Information Service. I just knew I would find a niche area that I would enjoy. The exciting things I get to see, well it depends where I'm working that day. So uh, because clinical pharmacology and therapeutics is based uh, solely at the RVI, we get to experience a tertiary center and deal with the weird and the wonderful. If I'm based on the toxicology unit, then I get to help answer calls from around the country. So you can literally be called about a poisoning, uh, you know, in London or somewhere in Scotland. We're very well supported in the Northeast and in our program in clinical pharmacology and therapeutics to you know, uh, enrich our development any way we can. So whether it's attending conferences uh, nationally or internationally, attending workshops organized by the British Pharmacological Society. So there's loads of opportunities to, to develop and focus on the things you want to focus on. It's such a broad specialty um, that as you progress in your training, you end up kind of narrowing it down to, to your special interests. So I've taken an interest in toxicology. I've attended numerous national uh, conferences. I'm just about to attend uh, an international, a European conference of the European Association of Poison Control Centers. And the team is super supportive when it comes to um, organizing these things and, and making sure that you can attend them. So what have I enjoyed the most about my training? I think there's two aspects. So I think there's the program itself, the clinical pharmacology aspect, the trials and research opportunities, the education opportunities. I think for me personally, the fact that our training is based solely in the RVI means that I've gotten to develop quite close relationships with all the teams. And I actually feel like I belong in a team. So. I've gotten to know people in A&E, in the acute admissions ward, uh, and my team. So actually the best part of it, I think, has been the fact that I've gotten to meet these people and get to know them really, really well and, and feel part of a team. So top tips about joining the specialty, I think have a, a read of the specialty training outline of what it entails. Meet the local team. So when I was applying for the program, I, I met um, Dr. Simon Hill, the, the CPD. I actually met him before and we had a chat about what the specialty entails and uh, what it might involve. If you feel like you want to be a, a great physician, if you feel like you want to think about medicines management and polypharmacy and pharmacogenetics and toxicology and anything that falls in our remit, I think give it a go. It's a fantastic specialty and I guarantee you will find uh, a part of it that you'll absolutely fall in love with. There's many benefits to living in the Northeast. I think A, everything's commutable. So I, I drive about 30 miles every day, but it's fairly close if you think about other places, having to live in other places and commute. I think property prices are fantastic and there's lots to do around the area. You know, Newcastle's a small big city. You have an international airport, you've got good bands and you've got excellent places to go and eat and hang out. So I think it's, it's just a fantastic place to hang out.